Hey everybody, Dana from the OT Guide. So today's video is a request from a viewer. They wanted to know a fun teletherapy activity to promote an open Thenar web space. Uh, just as a reminder, if you have any requests, please feel free to comment below. And if you like what you see today, please subscribe. Uh, but for all my viewers that are unfamiliar with the term open web space, an open web space on a pencil looks like this. So as you can see, there's a nice open letter C on my writing utensil. In school with a lot of students I work with, they have a closed web space and it looks like this. So an open web space is super important because it promotes an efficient pencil grasp, but it's important for in-hand manipulation skills and fine motor skills and dexterity. So for today's activity, we need a rubber band or a hair tie and a cotton ball. These are the two required materials. And then if you have index cards or sticky notes and binder clip, we're gonna be using these to make our targets. If you don't have that, a big bowl will do just fine. And then I recommend this activity for kids ages five and up uh, and parent supervision is required because we will be using rubber bands. So let's get started. So to make our fun target practice game, what your child is gonna do is they're gonna grab a rubber band or hair tie. They're gonna twirl it using both of their hands together, challenging their bilateral coordination skills. Big loop goes on index finger, other big loop goes on thumb. And we're basically making little hand slingshots. So then their cotton ball goes right here and they pull back and they shoot at their targets, which can be a big bowl or it can be um, a post-it note or sticky note in a binder clip. And so they shoot the targets and see if they can knock it down. Uh, but why are we doing this? So as you can see, I'm having to create a lot of tension between my thumb and index finger. So this is really challenging the muscles in my Thenar web space here. Um, so great hand strengthening activity. And then once they're done using these two fingers to shoot at targets, you can have them move on and use all of their fingers. So now I'm gonna remove my index finger from the equation and just use my middle and my thumb for them to shoot. When they shoot all the targets with those, I'm then gonna have them shoot with their ring finger. So super fun. I've had a lot of success with this activity in teletherapy. The kids love it. And it's a wonderful activity for finger isolation as well because we're going through each of the fingers. It's a general hand strengthening activity. It's bilateral coordination because they're having to coordinate both sides of their body. And it's also motor planning because chances are this is a novel activity and they're gonna have to figure out how to do it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye.